around 15 years ago. I, um, I started off in the fitness industry. I've got myself uh, certified as an aerobics instructor and back then a, a gym instructor back in the days before PTs were really um, sort of well known. I got a part-time job behind the bar as a bartender just to, to help pay living expenses and before I knew it the, the hospitality industry really opened itself up and the fitness industry took a, a side to the left so um, I, I'd spent a great deal of my uh, um, around the last 12 years uh, working in the hospitality industry opening up bars and clubs and that was overseas and then and then came back home to um, work for two prominent alcohol companies uh, in, the, in the corporate industry. That led me to a fairly comfortable lifestyle and while I've always been fairly active and, and fit, um, I, I did get quite comfortable in those roles and, and it, was a, it was a social life really, it was a lifestyle choice. And it got to a point where I'd kind of, um, I've, I've met an end where I thought it's an opportunity for me to be able to take what I've learnt in the corporate world and put it into my own business and start up my own company. So the first thing that I thought about when I started up my own business was for the first year, it was a little bit of a pie in the sky stuff. What would I like to earn? And if that is the if that is the goal, if that's the egg at the end of the year, how am I going to achieve that? Uh, so I broke it down to a half a year, then a quarter of a year, and then every month, and then you know broke it down to to the to three or four key things at the end of each week that I needed to do, and that would be right down to how many people I'd need to speak to in a day, and of those people, how many people I could give a comp session to, and of those, how many people I could convert into a sale. So it, it, it started from, a, from an end goal and broke it right down, and I know I, I hear a lot of personal trainers that say that sounds like the, the obvious direction to head, but very few people, I think, really understand the nuts and bolts about the importance behind doing that. It's not always easy to be able to just automatically go up and talk to someone because I think to an extent we're all, we're all sort of encompassed with a fear of what happens if that person says no. Um, so I would find times in the day where I would feel comfortable in being able to go to speak to people. Um, it wouldn't, wouldn't happen 24 hours a day and it still doesn't. Um, but if I'm feeling pretty confident, I've, I may have just had lunch or, or I've just started at 6 o'clock in the morning, someone looks like they need a hand and a stretch or a, you know, whatever it is, then um, uh, you know, then I'll start up a conversation. Having good core strength and good stability and just it makes you feel fantastic. Combine that with a, you know, a pretty regular diet and a, and, a, and a good solid diet, then um, yeah, I, I just feel alive. I feel fresh. I feel like I want to get out of bed in the morning.